from Central Florida. Six foot six shooting guard. Jacksonville University. Lake Wells High School. I got into basketball really early. Growing up, a lot of my family played football. Actually, my dad played four years at the University of Florida. My brother uh, had a full scholarship, was actually a couple of months away from signing his national letter of intent when he broke, he broke his, his wrist and ended up not playing. So athletes run really deep in my family. My love for basketball came really early. Uh, I, I played football, but I didn't have that genuine passion for it. The first time I picked up the ball in, in the fifth grade to play was, was huge to me individual critiquing that comes into the game once you get away from from high school and college. I, I was actually surprised at how much I can I can individually chop my game up and see which areas I need to improve in. Um, the, the, the constant working and improving on the game is is the best part of basketball to me. Always always knowing every morning that there's room to improve. There's room to get better. There's professions people can get into and and feel like, hey, I'm at the pinnacle. There's, there's no way I can get any better at what I'm doing. But basketball is one of those things. And and, and I love that. I love that, that, that. That's the best part about basketball that you can never be. You can never be too good. You can go and ask some of the best players that's ever played the game, you know, hey, are there ways that you can improve your game? And they're always going to tell you yes. The answer will always yes. You can ask Kobe, you can ask LeBron, you can ask Jordan. These guys are the best and they're still, they will tell you that you can get better. There's always a way to get better. And that's one of the things that, that I love. And I believe that's the best part about basketball. Training for basketball wasn't always the easiest thing to me, especially once I got to college. To be honest with you, in high school, I had a lot of success. I, I was, but I still didn't lose the love. And, and that's when I really knew that I had a genuine passion for it. When I was in the sixth grade, I tried out for the high school team at my middle senior high school. And I got cut. Um, and I just came home and, and fell into my mom's arms and cried. And, and I just told her how, how bad it made me feel that, that I didn't that I didn't make the basketball team. And I genuinely believe that that, that is that is what still drives my, my love for the game. Coming home from that gym knowing that I needed to get better. If you want to be on the team, you have to get better. That's how that's how I made that happen. In high school I had a lot of success. I, I was I was the top 10 uh, most recruited forwards in the state of Florida in 2012. I, I, had, I had offers from every high major school on the Eastern Seaboard coming out of high school. And the game just came really easy to me. And, and I know now that's because I had really good teammates and a really good coach. I went to a predominantly basketball school, Lake Wells High School is a basketball school with, with a huge basketball tradition. And you can you could feel it as soon as you step foot on that campus. But man, that, that the physical condition and the strength training that it takes to be um, in basketball shape physically is is it's hard. It's really hard. And and to be honest, a lot of guys, a lot of guys shy away from the sport because of how hard the training is for it. The hardest part of basketball, about basketball training is the, the, the conditioning, the physical conditioning. There's a lot of a lot of running, a lot of coordination, agility, and stuff that goes into playing basketball. Other sports, you can just be really fast and have success. You can just be really strong and have success. Um, but basketball, it, it, it's one of those sports where you have to be you have to be very good in all these areas and be able to think the game. Mentally, basketball is, is 80% mental. So it's it's definitely a lot harder than any of the other sports that I've played. Football, baseball, 
track way harder. What I realized going from high school to prep school to college and then into the pros is that your goals are gonna change, obviously. When you're in high school, your goal is to get to college. When you're in college, your goal may be just to be on the court. Your goal the next year might to be to average more points than you did the last year, and then to be the best player on your team, and then to be team captain. Um, but overall, for my entire career, the goal is the NBA. The goal is to reach the highest um, achievement that you can in basketball. The NBA is still the most uh, revered league in, in the world, and, and it's gonna stay that way. And it's that culture is is what is what drives your primary goal playing the game to be able to wear that logo and represent there's a certain culture that surrounds being an NBA player I come from a hometown Lake Wells Florida that has produced quite a few NBA talent guys and growing up so close to a number of them Marty Stoudemire Dominic Jones, um, you know, two guys who I know personally and have known since I was a kid. It was just to get to their level, uh, just to be a part of, of such such a respected or organization was was really important to me at, at a very young age. Me and my buddy used to always joke in high school, like, you know, man, even if we can get a 10 day contract, you know, just, just suiting up once, putting that logo on and representing the league, representing my city, representing my family, my university, with, with me, it would just be huge. And, and that's why, that's why I'm playing.